Hello and welcome to another tutorial on uh, API testing with Python series. Uh, though I'm not uh, going to talk about uh, Python today. today. Let's see in this session. Let's see how we can capture HTTP traffic. That is basically your API calls. Now, why do we need to do this? Uh, because we need to know what kind of uh, API call it is. Is it a GET request, a PUT, or POST, or how many parameters are there in the in the call? How many headers are there? What are the headers? Uh, how the response should be? Uh, and um, all those things. So there are many plugins for this, and uh, you know browser plugins and some proxy tools where you have to set the proxy in your browser, and basically these listener tools will listen to the port that you have. Uh, basically, they capture uh, all the HTTP traffic in the in the port in the specified port. So the simple way of doing this is just to basically go to your browser and use the network tab that is if i go to my chrome browser i click on right right click inspect then i just have to all i have to do is go to network tab this basically captures all the traffic http traffic that goes on in your browser so i'm just going to click on the execute the post method here as you can see the post method right here got captured you can see what are the headers used, uh, what are the response headers, um, cookies and stuff, uh, type of method, and what is the payload. This is uh, of interest to us uh, to test the API. This is the payload, and this response tab actually shows the response. But if you use a Firefox browser, let's, uh, let's do the same in a Firefox browser. Let's go into right click and do the inspect element just going to network tab and i'm just going to click on the post method here okay now this this is the request as you can see it, here by default firefox has one option edit and resend here we basically we can tamper the payload and see uh, different if you want to perform some trial and errors with your with your apis this is a one of the best way to go because uh, of course in chrome and probably in all other tools you have many options plenty plenty of options you can uh, there are many tools to do this but uh, just this is a very simple way of doing this in chrome i think it, by default it doesn't have this edit and send recent option of course there are like a lot of plugins to do that okay now i'm just going to do this uh, edit and recent uh, let's see whether it works or not Okay, I'm just going to take one example here. Okay, I'm just going to click on post register call here, and yeah, let's just uh, uh, I'm just this, I'm just going to change the current data here. Uh, this endpoint URL. I'm just going to replace that with the API slash register. Okay, and I'll change the URL endpoint URL. Now I just need to change the payload. Just going to put the same here. I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. Paste it here. Okay. This is the request body. Now I'm going to click on send. When I click on send, I should get this token, uh, this response here, uh, as shown here. Just going to do send. Yeah. Okay. Actually, it sent the request and you can also see the output here i think yeah response yeah i got the output just as i just as i was expecting so okay now what is the next thing okay now in chrome browser we can make use of a plugin called blaze meter this is essentially for uh, performance testing but basically it records all the uh, all the backend calls, so uh, you can make uh, make use the make use of it for API testing. Um, to install this, you just need to go Blaze Meter plugin for Chrome. Then go to Chrome Web Store and install it. I have already installed it. it looks something like this. You will need to sign up uh, in uh, Blaze Meter and uh, log in into that account. 
once you do that uh, this uh, extension will look something like this yeah okay now uh, I'm, just, uh, I'm just going to show you how to record uh, the backend calls with the uh, uh, blaze meter plugin uh, I'm just going to uh, just close this one uh, let's record the same uh, post call okay I'm just going to click on this icon here then click on start recording HTTPS give a name for the test say test uh, 41 okay now just execute the api call once that is done i'm just going to click on the stop button stop recording button here then i'm going to click on edit okay now as you can see it has recorded the all the details here you can see the body uh, what is the header all the details related to the api call now when, you, when I say API call, basically it's a backend call. Basically every action you do on a UI can be mapped into a HTTP method. But uh, most if you don't have an API, these are this uh, API basically a structured backend call. It has certain data structure. It follows certain protocol. That is the difference uh, when compared to normal just backend call uh, with no structure and API call. So yeah uh, here the advantage of using this play, uh, placemeter plug plugin is to you can download export it into a json file just go, actually you have to do, all you have to do is click on this json um, box here the button okay now it's downloaded i'm just going to open this in folder now if you want to view a file json file in browser you may also need to install some plugin in chrome i have one installed here but Apparently, it doesn't work on my current uh, Chrome profile. I'm just going to open the same file in uh, Firefox. Firefox open this without any problems or issues whatsoever. You can actually see all the past uh, very um, you know pretty print of your JSON file. You can clearly see what is the traffic. Uh, what is the this is the body and these are the headers. Okay. So these are the different uh, simple ways of capturing and uh, capturing your API calls, and also there's some there are some many tools. Uh, among them, I think Fiddler is also good. This is this is what Fiddler, Fiddler looks like. Basically, what you need to do is uh, you can filter them. There's some filter options here. You can use the host name here, and you can just listen uh, to those calls. You can just capture those calls because. Uh, basically it captures all the traffic that goes on in your system not just in one browser I think so in the blaze meter uh, let me show you uh, we can there's also in the filter options inside your blaze meter plugin yeah it is right here I, okay I have already given the pattern here so if anything uh, usually when you do stuff on browser there are a lot of backend calls you usually want to focus on just your uh, host so and this filter pattern is basically very useful in that case uh, also uh, place meter allows you to store the your you know json content into a file and you can view and to uh, view the uh, what can, uh, different details regarding your api call so firefox is also you like i told you useful for tampering i think there is to be one uh, plugin for fi firefox name itself was tampering which is which was actually useful for you know editing and resending but by default you have some options here you can make use of that so this is all the stuff regarding to catching your api calls uh, and the simple ones um, now if you like the video uh, please hit the like button and uh, if you want to get updates for upcoming videos then uh, hit the subscribe button thank you for watching